I need a girl with extensions in her hat. Bamboo earrings, at least three pads. Fendi bag and a bad attitude. That's what it take to get Trey in a good mood. She can walk with her. I talk with street slang. I love it when a girl ain't scared to do a thing. <laughs> so, it's package day. And clearly, I'm happy. So, why don't y'all meet me on the other side as I get this thing situated. And let's talk about some fragrances. Alright? See you in a second. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, LL Cool Trey here. <laughs> Just kidding. Listen, if this is your first time coming by my channel, what took you so long? I'm glad you're here, but you should have been here a while ago. Now, do me a favor, because I need some help from you. I need a sub. That's right, just hit the sub. And for those of you who just can't stay away from the scene of the crime who keep returning, thank you. I appreciate it. Listen, today is package day. So we got a package in. It's not a huge, huge haul, but it is pretty significant. And it is some fragrances that I have been curious about and been wanting to try. The first one is from the House of Perfumes de Marley. Now it's just a decant, but it is plenty for me. And it is Carlisle. Now, I'll just be honest with you. This is one that I am not even gonna consider buying. Why? I have red tobacco. And they're pretty much the same scent. I think red tobacco was stronger. The Perfumes de Marley is a little bit, um, I hate to use the word more wearable, but it's not as strong, it's not quite as loud. But you get that same, the, I'm on, I mean, almost the exact same scent. You get a big blast of tobacco. Oh man, it's smooth. Um, it's definitely masculine. It's definitely the type of scent, if you don't have red tobacco, uh, you may want to look at getting Carlisle. I would personally go with whichever one I got the better price on because they're that similar. Uh, it's been on my arm now for several hours. It's still projecting. I can still smell it without having to put my nose to it. Every time I move, I smell it. Uh, and it's been on for at least three hours, maybe even longer. I think I, I think I went to the post office about 1130. Uh, I'm not sure what time it is now, about 334 o'clock. And I probably sprayed it on about noon. So if that gives you any indication of uh, how, how strong the fragrance is. And uh, Mancera's red tobacco is way stronger. But nonetheless, uh, big shout out to Lamar Gaston for sending me a nice little decant of Perfumes de Marley's Carlisle. Thank you, my brother. I greatly appreciate it. Lamar's been really good to me over, over the two years that I've been doing this. He's always going to send me something and he always comes through. Something else that he sent me from the House of Authenticity. And it is authenticity. I like this fragrance. I like it a lot. This is a nice, let's see if I can get it to spray right this time. There we go. I'm having a little bit of trouble with the itemizers. It's kind of wanting to spray narrow. I don't really know why. Oh yeah. This, this scent right here, it's sort of barbershoppy, but sort of not. But then it's kind of watery. So it's like a watery barbershoppy type of scent, but not necessarily aquatic if that makes any sense. Oh, man, do I like it. This is one that I will wear a lot this summer. From the House of Authenticity, it is authenticity. And I think he said this 30 mil was about $30. Yeah, yeah, he says about $30. I'm not sure about the price of the uh, perfumes de Marley. Forgive me for that. The prices on that just fluctuate on well, really all the niche fragrances because if you shop right you can find just about any niche fragrance that you want with the exception of the Killian's um, some of the creeds because you can find some of the creeds at a reasonable price if you look right the thing about that is though you still have to be careful of counterfeits bootlegs and just plain old crooked people so if you find a trusted source go for it if not I don't know. That's why I stick in the lane that I know. Um, and I've said this many, many times before. If I were going to delve into the worlds of niche, it would be Aiden Bob, it would be Amouage, and it would be uh, uh, Mancera or Montal. 
which Montal is a, well, man, Sarah is a sister company to Montal, so I guess they're neck and neck. Um, but those would be probably the four places that I would start if I were going to delve into the world of niche. That's just me. But I also encourage you, while I've got you, if you're curious about the profile of a fragrance, it may not be the exact, but give your guys Travis Gearhart at Dapper, Kevin Holt at Sensual, and Norman Sherry and Doug at 3 and one Give those guys a chance to sell you some, you know, at least five mil decants. Why, you may ask, because even if it's not an exact clone or an exact 100% duplicate, it'll give you the vibe. So you'll be able to tell, okay, Tom Ford Lost Cherry is something that, yeah, I would definitely spend my money on this. Or Tom Ford Fabulous is too much for me. So, you know, it's too strong for me. It'll, it'll give you uh, an example of, of, you know, it'll at least get you in the ballpark so you'll know, I don't want to invest $300 on a 50 mil of this fragrance. Or yes, this fragrance is probably going to be worth it to me. Just saying. It works for me. I've enjoyed them. I love having those fragrances. They're easy to travel. They're easy to carry with you. So I like them. Now, I digress from that. And this authenticity smells really good. Man, that smells nice. It's getting a little more aquatic -y as it sits on my skin. Man, it smells nice. And I don't even have to reapply that perfumes de Marley. That sucker is there. And it, it is very similar to red tobacco. If any of you have both of them, uh, comment and let me know, is it just me or are they that similar? You know, if some of you guys or some of my subs out there, if you've got both Perfume de Marley's Carlisle and uh, Mancera's Red Tobacco. Let me know if, if they're that close or is it just my old head and my nose playing tricks on me. All right, and I've got three more small little decants that I want to talk to you guys about. And these are going to be first impressions because I have not smelled them. This is from the House of Insurrection Pure and it is Insurrection Sport. Make sure I got a clean place to spray. And if I'm not mistaken, this is a cologne of Creed's Aventist cologne. And it's pretty good. It's pretty good. That's it's, it's nice. And I think this is going to run you about anywhere from 20 to 25 dollars if you get it online because none of the insurrection pure fragrances are expensive would i add this to my collection honestly yes i would absolutely especially if i can get a hundred mil bottle of this for about 20 25 bucks absolutely does it smell exactly like creed cologne no not exactly is it close enough yes it it smells a lot like Creed Cologne, Creed Aventus Cologne, but it also, it reminds me a little bit of Creed's uh, Pure White. Which makes me wonder how close Creed's Aventus Cologne is and Creed's Pure White is. Creed's Pure White is one that I would probably pick up. If I were going to purchase a Creed fragrance today, it would probably be Pure White because it's just, I don't know, I just like it. And it's not a whole lot of people talking about it. You know, if you know anything about your boy Trey Sense, you know, I don't exactly follow the path that I'm supposed to. I never have. Oops. Never have. That was my problem in high school. And I've told you this before. I had some teachers that thought I was a straight dummy and some thought I was a genius because I didn't follow the path. I went. It wasn't about least resistance or popularity with me. It was just about this is my lane. This is what I'm comfortable in and this is what I do. And I'm the same way in life. I can't help it. But anyway, back on track. Yeah, I, I think this is one you guys should pick up, especially if you get it now. And here's why. You got the rest of the spring coming up, which for those of you who don't live in the South, you still got some cooler weather coming. Today is fairly cool here, but the, ne the rest of the, I think the first of next week, they're talking about temperatures in the 80s. So you know there there goes spring well into summer especially when may gets here it's gonna get hot so but i think this insurrection 
sport is one that you guys would get some wearing out of um, this summer. And I know there's a lot of people that prefer Creed Cologne, uh, I'm sorry, Aventus Cologne to the new batches of Aventus. But it is a crisp, clean, citrusy type of fragrance. I do pick up on a lot of uh, Aventus DNA in this. Believe it or not, I can smell a little bit of that burntness, that birch. Not necessarily, ugh, what am I trying to say? Not necessarily smoky, but that darkness that um, the different batches of uh, Aventus have, I can pick up in this. Now, again, I say this all the time when I talk about my version of Creed Aventus. Mine is super fruity, super fruity, super fruity, super sweet, super playful. That's why I like it doesn't have a whole lot of does have a lot of pepper in it though it's 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 strong and masculine but it's more fruity and playful so i like that about it yeah this insurrection pure sport is one i think you guys would like i hate doing these first impressions because they are so awkward because you spray the fragrance on and then you're smelling the fragrance and then the fragrance is changing and then you're trying to gather all your thoughts in your head and you got four or five different fragrances so i apologize if it, appears, if it appears that I'm bumbling and stumbling, it's just it's a thousand thoughts going through my head and a thousand different fragrances, so. But that's what first impressions are. They're awkward and they just, you know, compared to like meeting a girl for the first time, you already know what you're gonna say. But you, when you get there, it's just, you know, this is a little different than what you were planning. But nonetheless, and I'll say this about it too, I do pick up on, and this may be weird, but I do pick up on some insurrection pure in this as well so i guess that makes sense because insurrection pure was a clone of creeds aventus and this is a clone of creeds aventus cologne and there's some dna of creeds aventus in creeds aventus cologne man that's a lot isn't that you, you follow me you follow me all four of the fragrances have similarities because they're all tangled up with each other. They all cousins, I guess we can say. But nonetheless, Insurrection Sport is one I think you guys should pick up, especially if you can get it for around the $25 mark. I think you'll get a lot of use out of it this spring and summer. Plus, it'll be something new to add to your collection and give you that Creed Cologne vibe until you can get your hands on the real deal. All right, moving along. This next one, <laughs> really, it's from the house of Latafa. And this is my hair, my hair. Don't ask me. Look at this. Okay, I'll spray it right here on my hand. Give it a nice little spray. Latafa. That's, ooh. Right off the bat, I ain't gotta put my hand in my I can smell that ooh all the way over here. Mm. Okay, I put a smile on my face. That's bottle worthy. Unless that just does something completely tricky in the next four to five minutes, that joker right there is bottle worthy. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna recommend this as well. I'm gonna recommend that you get <laughs> Latafa's my hair. It's spelled M-A-A-H-I-R. My hair, that's the only way that could be pronounced, right? Now, I'm gonna say this about this fragrance. Instant smile on my face, instantly different from most of the things that I have in my collection. I can tell you right now, I'm smelling this off the rip. This is gonna be one that projects for a long time, lasts a long time. It is rich, it is deep. Oh, man, that is nice. Now, me and me and Mr. Cheap Sense was talking about this the other day. Indie houses. And we were just thinking about the temperature and the climate, you know, over there where they, these guys wear these thick, hot fragrances. I'm thinking, you know, that's, that, that's so, the indie houses' fragrances are so thick and so heavy and so oily. How do they wear them in the heat? And then I thought, well, but you know, it does really, really cool down, you know, at the night, in the nighttime over there. So maybe that's why they're so thick you know, to be versatile between the 
hottest part of the day and the coolest part of the evening because it varies just like the desert it might be 105 degrees in the daytime but in the nighttime it's cold and you know that's something a lot of people don't know it's just a variation in temperature so maybe the indie houses are so thick um, their fragrances are so thick and heavy you know to be versatile maybe but nonetheless this is a beautiful beautiful fragrance and of course I'm shooting a video so you know my battery's going dead but this is one, man, I like that. I, I'm going to check into purchasing a full bottle of this. This is nice now. It's not, I won't be able to wear it until November or December. So I'm not gonna be in a hurry to get it. But it's oody, very oody. But at the same time, it's rich. Um, it's not doing a whole lot of moving. That oud hits you when you spray it. And that's, you know, that's where it's at. So it's seeming like it's gonna be very linear but it's, I think it's gonna stay around for quite a while. Man, I like that. I'm the house of Latafa, my her. <laughs> All right, the last one, but not least, is from Genre, and it's called Peaceful Night, and I think this is a clone of Scent of Peace. Now, gotta find a spot to wear it to spray it something is in my eye y'all gotta find the spot and i hope this video doesn't take all day to upload like my last two or three videos as i'm very frustrated with that i think i'm about to switch cell phone providers just don't know which way to go yet i think i'm going with uh what's that called visible visible oh wee that smells good oh wee that's yeah Okay, so it's a five for five. I mean, I recommend all of these. Perfumes de Marley, again, if you already have red tobacco, I would prefer red tobacco over the over the Carlisle, but I can't not recommend the Perfumes de Marley because it does smell amazing. I mean, it's very close to the red tobacco. And you know I love red tobacco, so I love this one as well. I already have the red tobacco, so I don't have a need for it, honestly. This little decan of this is all I'll ever really need of, of this fragrance. Just to be 100% honest with you, that's all I'll need because I have a hundred mil of red tobacco. So, man, something's in my eye, y'all. So, but I still recommend it. it. It's a good fragrance. If you don't have red tobacco and you're more of a fan of perfumes de Marley than you are uh, Mancera, go with the red tobacco. You can't go wrong, it smells good. This genre, Sin of Peace, clone of Sin of Peace. Peaceful Night, beautiful, beautiful, it's nice. Man, again, slightly watery, slightly floral. Very calm, relaxing. I wish I could tell you what uh, flower that is I'm picking up in there, what it, it may be some white florals. Nonetheless, Everything that I have smelled today in this package, I would recommend and give it all a thumbs up from the authenticity, which is just drying down into a smooth, watery, aquatic -y type of fragrance, not overly citrusy, not woodsy, just fresh, crisp, watery, great for a date in the daytime, you know, when the sun is shining and it's bright out you just out running around and say you're just gonna meet somebody for a quick lunch or something like that you know you know, catch a good deal over at the Olive Garden one of them red lobster lunch specials perfect for that because it's dressy and it smells really good but it's not overly dressy and again it's not a floral fragrance it's not a citrusy fragrance it's a slightly clean aquatic with a hint of barber sharpness to it love it love it love it that's a great fragrance proud to have that in my collection goodness and this Aventus cologne clone um, by insurrection called sport insurrection sport nice definitely picking up on the the, the DNA of Aventus in it but I, I recommend that especially if the price is where I think it's gonna be hard to go wrong with that one and this what is this one yeah that's the insurrection and this my heart Balatafa. 
No, that's not it. Yeah. It's very linear. It's very linear. I'll say that that oud is, is present up top and but it's a good wearable oud. I like that. I like that a lot. I like all five of these. Give them all five thumbs up. Great package day. Great package day. Hope this video has been useful to you guys. Again, perfumes de Marley's Carlisle, give it a thumbs up. Uh, but if again, if you have red tobacco or you don't like red tobacco, you won't like that one either. It's a little bit tamer, but you still won't like it. If you like red tobacco, you'll love that. Best I can tell you. Authenticity, great. Barbershop, slightly barbershoppy, watery. Uh, not really a citrus or floral type of fragrance, just kind of a watery, quadricky barbershop. Again, the Insurrection Pure Sport, or the Insurrection Sport, an Aventus Cologne, Cologne, and a pretty good one. Nice, crisp, light, fresh, white t-shirt and khakis type of fragrance. The Latafa, uh, Mahar is one that I would wear probably in the cooler weather. For those of you who are, you know, up north or out west where it's still pretty cold, pretty cool, uh, you could probably get away with it for a little while longer, but us uh, southern cats, you're going to have to wait till the, till the fall or maybe even winter to wear that off because fall is hot here. We say fall, fall starts, it's still 90 degrees in Alabama unless a hurricane comes through. Um, and what was the last one? Oh. Genres, Peaceful Night, which is a centerpiece clone. Beautiful, just beautiful, 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 beautiful. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap this up, man. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you for stopping by. As always, I really appreciate you. Thank you for spending a little time with me. I hope this doesn't take to uh, 9 or 10 o'clock tonight. I hope it's up before, before 5 or 6. If not, I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on with AT&T. I do a speed test. My, my uh, tests are coming back blazing. My uploads are coming back blazing. My downloads are coming back blazing. It just takes the videos a long time to upload. I don't really know why. Um, but I apologize for that. But anyway, thank you for stopping by the channel and spending some time with your boy. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Always, always, always be sure to be active in the comments section. Love the feedback and interaction I get with you guys. Most of you are very intelligent and very knowledgeable about fragrances and I appreciate all your comments and your feedback. So with that being said, you know what time it is. It's time for me to jump off of here. I hope you all are safe. Take care of each other. God bless. Happy hump day. And until tomorrow or until the next time, y'all, peace and love.